it's very subtle, but you can you can start to look at different scenes of your life. Like this is the Chautauqua scene, but you've got the home at home with your partner scene, or the out on the adventure scene, or the travel scene, or so on and so forth. And I've actually come across teachers that, that say these different scenes in your life are your different classrooms, as if the classrooms are plural. And the only problem with that is, is the ego is so sneaky that it will forever have you looking for more exciting classrooms, uh, as it judges it. The thing about it is, if you seem to divide your life into separate scenes and separate segments, and even separate eras, you know, well, that's when my teen years, and my adolescent years, and my 20s, 30s, 40s, and oh, that was a good time, you know. It was 1960, you know, it's like you could go back and say that's a good time. But even with scenes in your life, you notice how the ego wants to divide them up and prioritize them. Like you've got your at work scene, and it's maybe not so high on your list for some people. For some it could be. And you can't wait to get into the next scene. The kick back and kick your shoes off, take your tie off and your dress and kick back and, and look out at the ocean or the forest. But you can make a hierarchy of these scenes. And, and that's why the scenes of the world that the dream character seems to find it in are not the classroom. That's not your classroom. These are not your classroom because if that's your classroom, you can still keep shifting and changing the scenes forever and ever and ever. And you'll never find peace in shifting scenes and trying to get your body into better scenes. You know, that's a big thing in this world is get, I got to get my body, my personhood, into a better scene. Maybe I need to be in a, a scene with a different mate, or maybe it has to be a different work scene, or maybe I don't want to work at all, I just want to be out there sailing in the ocean scene, or maybe I want to go live in a, a lava tube or a cave, and I've had enough of people. I just want to, no more, I just want to be in a lava tube and just have quiet there. You know, you can always be shifting the scenes around, but you will never find the goal if you shift the scenes. Because why? Because your mind is the classroom. Because consciousness is the classroom. You cannot emphasize that too much because until you really see that, it can seem more attractive and alluring to just delude yourself by trying to shift the scenes and make better scenes. And you don't get the goal, which is peace of mind, which is, which is actually sameness.